Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. I am working on soloing the Wanted Blood Cleaver Bounty, except I'm noticeably underleveled. About 508, 509, 510. Just an idea of how much damage I'm doing versus how long this fight takes to do. Now, a couple things you have to watch out for. One, dogs. They spawn occasionally. When you get to half health, you're gonna have, I don't know what set him on fire. Um, when you get the boss to actually half health, for one, you get a checkpoint, which is why I just died and I can still come back to this. And then two, um, you've also got, um, that extra dog. So when the boss is at half health, sorry, boss is at half health, you're going to have the extra dog spawning. And it also seems like the ads are just literally on a timer now. So it's always working against you. There's no just like work on your wave or anything like that. Now, the Scorpius will absolutely just melt you, so be aware of where they can spawn. And if you ever hear that beep, know that you need to run for cover. One can spawn here. There's one that can spawn on this little rock formation here. I've seen one actually later on back there, just to throw you off because you don't ever expect it, and I've died to that one. And I've seen it right up here on this ledge. So most places that the boss won't be. Now, what you basically need to do in this fight, uh, you're going to start actually seeing him come in, um, depending on where you enter through. Once you get to this section just beyond this tunnel uh, down here, you would see the boss basically standing in that blue room, and that's the one you would notice where he's at. So you would activate him, shoot him, you'll pull some dogs, and then the big thing is you're just going to have, he's going to run into this area. And then he's going to pop that giant shield, which makes your life really a bit of a pain in the butt. And also, those dogs get annoying. But, the only way to actually take down that shield, because you are basically suppressed. You can do next to no damage in there. That's why the adds coming up occasionally is nice. Heavy ammo is crucial as well. You got one more gun to take out. And again, I can't like even aim when I'm getting tagged by that minigun. It is brutal, so... If you're just trying to square off with the minigun, you will lose. Pretty much you need to punch because I can do nothing. I can't click. I can't fire my weapons when I'm in here. You have to punch that middle cylinder. So the best way is to try and pull him out of the middle. Get him to try and chase you. And then sometimes you'll glitch him. Sometimes he'll run right back in. But sometimes he just stays up in the top. And you get a chance to punch this center bar. Only thing you can do in here is punch. Now as soon as you punch that, there's going to be a new level of fun guy spawning. Uh, mainly the Scorpius. So typically my safest spot to be is back in this tunnel. Now I say back in the tunnel because you don't have to worry about the miniguns. Yet. Um, they are kind of on a stuck spawn at this point. You are still going to have big boy there. Now I do try and smash him because that will actually set him on fire and give me extra damage. So I can just kill him a little bit quicker. Another Vestian Dynasty because I totally need one of those. So now you have to find your orange bar minigun. Usually it's the one that's constantly firing because that's the one that's going to hurt the most. So that being said, uh, depending on where your miniguns are at, I would use I would work on that one last and use your cover where possible. This shield will work for you as well. So if you can peek and get a couple shots on it, just try not to die because that thing hurts like really really bad because you're typically going to be under leveled right now so everything is just going to basically one or two shot you it's painful but once it's down be aware you probably are on a bit of a timer just when it comes to uh dogs so be careful listen for those so the dogs are actually up now this should stay here for a while the scorpius core is your big key so, two ways you can try and do this. I'm going to try and show you guys, just so I don't take too long in this video, to try and pull him up here. He got a big leap, so I'm going to go try and dunk this. And then once I dunk it, it's going to give me a chance to actually do damage to him for a change. Best thing I've found, sit up here. Uh, throw everything you can at this guy. So, whether it's super, and that'll also help you kill some of the dogs. And if he gets out of your line of sight, try and use some type of cover that's going to give you some proximity closer to him. Unload any heavy weapons you've got. You probably won't completely kill him, unless you're just lucky. But if you can get him to uh, show his face for a little while, you get a lot of damage on him. 
and then he's likely going to shield up again. Now, when that happens, when he shields up again, be ready for the Scorpius. They will come back up. I've seen them in really, really annoying areas, like now I've seen some that are over here, tucked in this little corner. Yep, exactly right over here. This is one that has killed me so many times, but don't forget, the dogs are still up. So, you have to go back to killing those. However you feel necessary. And the biggest thing, just don't get caught off guard. Because you'll just regret it if you get this close. Because I've died so many times already. You have no idea. So many, many deaths later. And you pretty much just have to rinse and repeat at that point. So make sure your uh, Scorpius are down. Right now, you're only typically going to have the two red ones. Or maybe three. This is new. So this is a new area for one to be. And they're also probably going to be tucked around a little farther. Just use your shield as cover. And then just make sure you've got a chance to, you know, pull him off of the spawn. So again, same principle. I like to use this ledge up here because he has to leap up. He'll think for a second. And then he'll start running around. Sometimes it kind of glitches him. If he stays up there, you're going to get a chance for some decent punches. He might stand up for there for a second. And similar situation will happen. And again, come over here, work into your tunnel of safety, because the Scorpius will now be spawning. There's likely to be some uh, ads that are up. The dogs will hurt. And again, try not to let that dog even hit you twice, because it hurts really bad. So if you can, like, play with this distance, it seems to not push too far beyond a specific distance. Slowly backs up, and then if you creep up, he might come running at you. Or he'll run away. Either way. But if he does come at you, remember, just try and jump in the air. Get a little verticality, because they are melee, guys. They're not quite so bad. And then same principle before, look for your Scorpius. Now, as I punch the middle, remember, that one is going to be your orange bar. And you're also going to potentially have more Scorpius that are up. So this is where it gets a bit dicey. This one is... That addition of Scorpius are new. So depending on what you're running, be careful about health. Uh, they fire pretty much continuously. And then just try and peek where you can. There you go. Now, see what other Scorpius are up. I think I've still got the one towards the front. So watch out for that one, depending on if this one's still up on the lip. Nope, that one's definitely going to be the one to watch out for. But if you hear any groans, it could be the boss, but it also could be dogs, so be careful. You can actually get a line of sight on this Scorpius, which is kind of cool. On this little rock up here. Now the dogs are up again, and he is out of his hole, which is really weird, probably because I'm standing on that ledge. I'm trying to run away and pull all the dogs and work them down so I can give me some ammo as well. That's why I do like to have my shotgun. It's just great to get some damage quick when you need it. Now, the one thing I do like to do as a Titan is try and get a shoulder charge on this guy if I can find him. So pull him to me, get my shoulder charge on. On mouse, I can get a quick turn. That'll let me kill him quicker. Give me some ammo as well. Reload my heavy cannon. So this is it. When you get to the second part of the fight, you're just going to have more Scorpius to deal with. But the main key is... Kill the Scorpius, monitor your ad situation, listen on your radar, and then work your ads down. Same principle as before, just peek, get a few shots. If you take any damage, just be careful about getting more. If you can get a chance at some decent bullets, get them going. Don't get greedy. It's one of the things I really am terrible about doing. So that one is down. Now, as that other one is a little harder to get to... I'm going to work on some safe cover because I can actually stay on the elevation part now. It's looking for me over here, so I do want to try and tuck behind this rock. Listen for any dogs if you've got them. Grab any ammo you might be able to get your hands on. Listen for the dogs because they do sound like they're up. I'm going to grab the Scorpius charge. gives me 30 seconds. If I can get him up here. There we go. Give me a chance to slam this. And then, again, same principle here. Once you get up on the ledge, try and find him. Wherever you're going to be able to get a decent shot at him. Sometimes I actually find that this one in the back works fairly well. And now it's time to go super before he runs too far away. 
And I finally did it. Oh my goodness. That has got to be one of the hardest things I've done so far. And I haven't even touched blind well season, like level two or anything like that. So soloing this thing is rough. But as you guys can see, it is doable. Uh, the only difference in the fight is basically how it starts. If you guys want to see how it starts, I can slap that on the end. Uh, but this is basically the end of the fight. I will just show you guys. I'm trying to finish this dude off. So I want to get my loot. Death by Scorn. I got an energy weapon. That is a sidearm. I'm pretty much okay on sidearms. But that is the general rundown, guys. Hopefully this helped you out. I hear a... Uh, <laughs> I hear the beeping sound of a sentry. But yeah, that is the run. So if you guys did find this helpful or just enjoyed the video, drop a like below. That is always appreciated. If you guys uh, want to say hey, you always leave a comment. If you want to see any future changes and things like this, I do plan on doing the wanted bounties kind of as frequently as possible to help you out. Especially for the solo players so you guys have an idea on how to kind of strategize uh, getting some of these solo fights done. They should be easier as we level up, but as you are working on doing some of these powerful gear things, make sure you guys hit your dailies. That will help a lot and your weeklies. But other than that, you guys know where to find me. Twitch, Twitter, it's Ebontis, and right here on YouTube. If you guys have not subscribed, please do so. Thank you for tuning in. Hit that alert bell. That will keep me in your feed, and I will keep the content coming. Weekly reset tomorrow. We'll have more to do, and we'll check out Spider's new bounties, and I'll get you guys those as well. Have a good one. I'll see you soon. Enjoy.